So now we're going to explore just a little bit more. We created type person struct. And just to play around type, I'm going to, and the different data structures we've created, I'm going to create in 0, 3 here. And in that 0, 3, um, I could create another person. So just duplicate all that. And this person will be P2. And Jenny, Jenny Money Penny, and 8. And we just saw this last week. That 8 doesn't like that 8. I'm just going to leave these 7 and 8. Trailing zeros. I had somebody else, or with uh, leading zeros. I had somebody else with leading zeros. And she says, um, when Bond can't handle it, call me. I don't know. And she also says, I will always love Bond. And uh, then we could print out Jenny. And then we could also create a slice of people, composite literal. So we're going to have a slice of people, just like we have a slice of int. And we could store p1 and p2 in there. Oh, slice of person. We could call that maybe people, or just xp. And now we could uh, thumped print line that slice of people. And we could even create a map of people. And uh, that's going to be composite literal map. And we'll have some string as the key. And we're going to store a person as the value. And so that's the type. Here are the values. Composite literal, right? Type. Values. And then in here we'll store, P, uh, we'll store uh, you know, 7. I don't know. Whatever. Actually, it needs to be a string. Uh, so... just Mr. And Mr. will be P1 and Miss will be, I never learned Mr. I never learned Miss, Miss, and Mrs. or whatever they are. Mystery to me. <laughs> like I can't, one's married, one's, I don't, I don't know. My wife explains it to me every now and then. I'm like, eh, I don't know. And so there we have a, a map storing a person, but we could just create, like, you know, we're getting these data types, and the key is this composite literal concept where we have the type, curly braces, and values, right? We have the type, curly braces, and values. We have the type, curly braces, and values. So that's like the quick way. And there's other ways you could make, you can make these data structures, and there's ways you can optimize them for performance. As you get deeper into the language slices, you could optimize them for performance using make and set the length and the capacity of the underlying array. And that's like, okay, cool. But like, just as we're getting started, totally cool just using composite literals like this. And, um, and so we have the slice which stores values of the same type. The type that's being, being stored here is person, type person. And we have the map, which is a key value data store. And we have the struct, which is an aggregate data structure, aggregates together values of different types. So we've learned how we could create variables to store a value of one type, x colon equal 42, storing a value of type int. And we have seen now how we could create variables to store values of many types. We could create a struct. We could create a slice. We could create a map. Maps are key value pair, association, phone book. Don't worry about right now, like, where and when will I use those? Time and place will come. You'll be like, oh, this would be a good spot for a map. A slice is just a whole bunch of values of the same type. Stick them all in there, baby. And then a struct is just like a whole bunch of values of any type. Kind of like an object, an object-oriented programming. Cool? So we got slice, we have map, and we have struct. And in the next video, we're going to see how to do a little looping and loop over values in 
map in slice maybe print out fields in a struct we'll see that in the next video and looping we'll just see looping straight up looping <laughs>